Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript question that is related to objects. This question I had recently encountered during a practice. Uh, I went completely blank while solving this. And I guess it happens with most of us because there are times during the interviews, right? When certain solutions for a problem, it clicks to us instantly, but there are times that we become completely blank so that was the case with me later uh, i figure out how to solve this so that's why I'm, today i'm sharing this with you so that if you encounter this in your interviews you should be able to solve this on the screen as you can see right we have an object with the property i whose value is zero and after that every time the value of that property is accessed it increments by one so we get one, two, three, four, and so on. Now, if you see the problem, the first thing that comes to mind is how would we increment or how would we update the value of I when it is being accessed? So the first thing that comes to our mind is, uh, uh, I was aware about setter and getters that we can use in the uh, constructors. So if what if we create a constructor and then uh, this constructor will have getter and setter property and every time you access the property that is you are using getter you can update it. But here the problem is the object is defined right. So object has the property I initially it can have any other properties. So how to make sure that we are not using constructor but rather than we are overriding this object itself. So the second solution here is something that we don't often use but it is very uh, you know uh, it's one of the advanced topics I can say because uh, we don't use it day to day during the development but it is uh, under the hood it is very widely used so it is called proxy. Now what proxy does is it helps us to create a proxy object that will have the getter and setter properties and that will help us to override this object the existing object and do the necessary uh, you know programming uh, sorry not programming do the necessary conditioning for us uh, we can write our logic in that and then we can while the property is accessed on any of the object right we can update it so let's see how it can be done here i am just reassigning to the object creating new proxy so proxy is a constructor and this proxy the first parameter it accepts is the object so either you can pass a blank object or any existing object so i am here passing the same existing object and i am reassigning the output of it to itself and after that we'll have the getter and setter properties for this object so here because we are accessing the value we are going to use the get method the get method accepts a callback function and here we'll get the access to the target target is the object itself and the property which is currently being accessed now here what i'm going to do is inside the function call i'm going to add a check if property equals to equals to i then what i have to do is I have to update the property value that is target property equals to target property that is we are accessing the same property value and we are incrementing by one and after that I will return the target property. So what it will do is it will update the value within the object and then return it. So rather than uh, you know passing the static value will have the updated value in the object itself so that anytime further if you access the object you will get the updated value itself rather than starting from zero so let's see if it works or not let me run this code and you see that every time i'm trying to access the object right it's giving me the incremented value which is one two three and four if I comment this implementation and if I run this again, you will see that we get 0, 0, 0 and 0. So that's how you can make use of proxy to modify the value of the properties when it is being accessed. 
now apart from get it also has a set method so similarly in case in future if you encounter something right where you have to validate the properties uh, 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 value when it is being set so you can use this set method here we get the target property as well as the value and now we can determine let's say property equals to equals to j and if value is less than or equal to 10 then we have to throw range error that is we can update the condition if so if it is greater than 10 then only we have to accept the value so we will going to set the property value otherwise we will throw error value should be greater than 10 and then finally we are going to return target property so let me try this let's say i do object dot j is equal to 9 and if i run this let's see what happens so we got range error value should be greater than 10 and if i make this 11 again we got the error so value value is greater than 10 okay else we have to wrap that inside the else otherwise even after the update it will definitely throw error so see nothing happens because the property is set and if i change this back to 9 you will see that we get a range error value should be greater than 10 so that's how you can make use of proxy while setting or getting the property and you can define set of rules so that while setting the values are set according to the rule otherwise you throw error similarly while getting if you want to modify the output of the properties value you can do so i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time